Hi guys, it's Grace from Grace Gets Gastric. Today is Tuesday, May 1st, and I am back at it again with another weekly update. This is week 17 post-op VSG. Super exciting. So I'll go ahead and jump right into stats. So again, my name is Grace. I am 5'8", 27 years old, and on January 2nd, 2018, I had the vertical sleeve gastrectomy or VSG, weight loss surgery. My high weight was in May of 2017 at 354 pounds. I had a six-month medically supervised weight loss diet required by insurance, and over that six months, I lost 35 pounds. So my starting weight day of surgery was 319. Last week, I came at you with a weight of 263.5, and today I weighed in at 258.3. So that is a weekly loss of 5.2 pounds, a loss since my starting weight or my day of surgery weight of uh, 60.7 pounds and a loss since my highest weight of 95.7 pounds. Super, super exciting, you guys. Um, so for those of you who haven't seen my goals video, what are you waiting for? It's linked above. Um, you might notice that my weight today, 258.3, means that I hit my third milestone, which was to be below 261 pounds, um, which is the weight on my driver's license, also known as the weight that I was when I was 16 years old. So I am officially at my lowest weight in over 10 years, lowest adult weight for sure, um, basically lower than I was when I was a teenager, when I was in high school. That is crazy exciting. I'm so happy. I was hoping to hit that milestone in April and I did so I'm really thrilled and then not only that did you catch that loss 5.2 pounds that is amazing it's one of the best losses I've had since I started this journey like past like my week my first week um yeah I'm just totally blown away you'll if you guys watched last week's video linked above if you haven't seen it um you'll know that I had a pretty small loss last week I was coming off vacation my period. I'm sure I was retaining water. I think I wasn't quite hydrated enough. I wasn't upset about it, but, and it, I, and I was coming off of a pretty big loss, like a four pound loss the previous week. So to see a five pound loss this week is just really exciting. I'm really happy about it. Um, I'm doing great. I feel great. It's just, wow. 60 pounds down since surgery, 60 pounds down in four months, 95 pounds down since my highest weight. My next milestone is uh, three fifty. Uh, not sorry, two fifty four pounds because that is um, that'll be a hundred pounds down since my highest weight of three fifty four. So two fifty four, that is a little over four pounds away. Um, I think it's okay for me to say. Uh, you'll know if you've watched some of my previous videos that I try not to set goals of hitting a certain weight by a certain date, just because. Um, that is a goal based on an outcome, not based on the things you do to get that outcome. Anyways, I think it's okay for me to say I think I'm going to lose four pounds in the next, or five pounds this next month. So, um, 254 I'm coming for you. May is the month. Um, so again, in my goals video I mentioned, as I hit these milestones, I'm going to give myself a little bit of a reward just to stay motivated, congratulate myself for doing awesome. Uh, so this reward goal is, or goal reward, is going to be a new perfume. Um, I used to get like a new perfume every year. I haven't really done it lately. And my perfumes are kind of running low because I've been, I, I don't think I've bought a new one in like two or three years. So I was actually a little bit bad. I bought the perfume last weekend. No, two weekends ago. So I bought it while I was still in San Francisco. And the reason I did that was because I knew it was going to be happening in the next like two weeks. I was really close. And um, there was a sale at Sephora and it was, everything was 15% off. And uh, I got, the perfume I got was like Chloe or Chloe, I don't know. Anyways, it was on Sephora, it was on sale. So I bought it, it still hasn't come yet. And if it had come before I hit that point, I wasn't gonna let myself use it, but now I can use it when it arrives. So woo, I'm really excited. And I need to start thinking about what I want my next reward to be, because like I said, I definitely, I'm definitely getting it in May. Uh, I'll lose five pounds this month. I'm fairly confident in that fact. And if I don't, well, I'll get over it. I'll get there eventually. So 
yeah, weight's coming off. It's really great. I feel great. Um, I've also had some NSVs lately, which uh, are also super cool. I realized that when I was doing my update about my San Francisco trip in last week's video, I totally forgot to mention um, the major NSV of not needing a seatbelt extender on my flight. I actually even had a little bit of slack. Not a lot, but there was definitely a little bit of slack. If I remember, I'll try to insert a picture, but I can't remember if I saved the photo. Actually, I'm almost positive I didn't. There may or may not be a photo here. Anyways, uh, I have not needed an extender. I've needed, so I've needed to use an extender for the past like few years. Not on every single flight. There have been a couple of flights, depending on the airline, where I was just barely able to buckle it. But um, that was like one in 10, maybe. So generally, I really needed an extender. Uh, and I feel pretty confident that I would have needed one in this plane as well. But it was really cool to not to be able to totally buck my belt and put my tray table down without it hitting my belly, um, which was almost never the case. Um, I just like could never really put it all the way down because my stomach was in the way. So super cool. I can't believe I forgot to mention that. So uh, loved those NSVs. Uh, I've also noticed that um, like bathroom stalls have been no longer an issue. So I, and I, I still habitually, whenever I go into a bathroom stall, I often go to the, the handicap one just because uh, there were a lot of times where I would go to a public restroom and the bathroom stalls would just be too narrow uh, and they just made things a little bit difficult. Um, but I, and I still find myself going to those, um, handicap stalls, the larger ones, but I realized that I no longer really need to do that. I, I don't have any, there are no issues even when like narrow bathroom stalls, which uh, was cool to know because I always felt a little self-conscious going into like the bigger one and like you're taking it from someone who um, needs to use it. And I mean, not that I have a physical handicap, but like there are, uh, you know, it was like difficult to use those smaller stalls. So I really did need to make use of that one. So that was cool just to, to realize and I need to start kind of training my brain that like I don't need to just go automatically to the biggest stall. The other one, the other NSV I wanted to mention was fast walking. So when I was um, younger in high school, I always really considered myself someone who walked pretty quickly. I like to get where I'm going. So I always walked with purpose. Um, and I remember kind of realizing recently-ish in the last, I don't know, five, eight years. So not that recent, I guess. But I remember realizing that I was no longer really a fast walker. I still sort of had this mentality of like thinking of myself as a fast walker, but I was not walking, like I would be walking with friends and like they would be walking, be able to walk much faster than I was comfortably. So I kind of realized I'm no longer someone who walks fast just naturally. Uh, but I've been realizing as I drop weight that I am starting to get that ability back. I am a fast walker again. I can walk quickly and I just sort of naturally do that. Like I think that was sort of my natural state, but because of my weight, I wasn't really physically able to do that comfortably without feeling out of breath or having my calves hurt or, you know, cramp. Um, so that's been kind of cool. Just I've been walking, buzzing about, um, I work on like a campus and so I have to go from building to building frequently and just noticing that I'm able to kind of move around more quickly and more easily. Uh, it's kind of fun. So yay NSVs. Uh, what else? Let's see. Oh, hair loss. I think I mentioned this in a previous video that I am uh, losing my hair. I'm experiencing hair loss. Uh, I am definitely still experiencing hair loss. It is intense. Um, I have fairly thick hair. I always have. I've always lost a decent amount of hair. I think maybe in my previous videos I was like, it's sort of borderline about the normal amount I would lose, but it feels like a little more. Now I can say like with absolute certainty, it is certainly more hair than I normally lose. I'm definitely, it's coming out. <laughs> uh, and it is definitely disconcerting. Uh, to just like see how much hair I'm losing and being like, am I really going to have uh, any left? And uh, I can feel like my, my buns and my ponytails are a little bit less um, robust. But I just keep reminding myself it's is temporary. And uh, even if it wasn't, people experience hair loss all the time. Uh, for more, 
you know, like that they can't um, prevent, that it isn't temporary, and they deal with it. There are, you know, like the the scalp spray stuff you can put on to make it look more voluminous. There are wigs. So, you know, it's not the end of the world if I were to lose my hair. Um, I actually have a hair appointment tomorrow, and I'm also filming my week, my month four update, so hopefully uh, you'll get to see me with my nice cut hair. And I'm curious to see what my hair, my hair stylist says about um, what my hair is looking like. So I'll keep you updated, of course. But yeah, I just wanted to mention that uh, we deep cleaned my like apartment this weekend and my sister was helping me clean the bathroom and was just like horrified by like just the hair everywhere. <laughs> Sorry, girl. Um, I've also had a number of people notice my weight loss recently, which is nice. Um, I haven't, ha I mean, I've had people notice before. I think I've mentioned that on here as well. Uh, it hasn't been like a lot of people noticing or like making a big deal out of it, which is, you know, it doesn't make me feel uncomfortable in any way so far. Uh, and it is cool to just definitely get to a point where I'm no where people are noticing. I had a uh, dinner with a friend that I haven't seen since like I close to when I started my uh, medically supervised weight loss. So it's like, like eight months maybe. Uh, so well before my surgery. Um, and so she was just like, wow, you're looking really good. Um, which was nice to, to hear. And then my downstairs neighbor, we ran into her as we were cleaning our apartment, kind of going back and forth. And, uh, she's like, I just wanted to tell you that you are looking amazing. You like, whatever you're doing, keep it up. And so yeah, it was just nice to hear, uh, nice for people to notice. You know, I think there's like always that kind of weird catch, not catch 22, but like conflicting desire of like wanting people to like notice and like acknowledge your success and like, you know, hear that kind of positive encouragement. And then also not wanting people to like totally overemphasize it and make it feel like your weight's the most important thing about you or, you know, all of that. So it's kind of like this weird balance. And I do think that's part of why people don't always say things. Um, I feel like I, there's people who've been kind of like hesitant. Um, like I know a few people who've said things to me were like asked my friends first, like, oh, is she trying to lose weight or like, is it okay? You know, like, because people lose weight because they are stressed out or that they have an illness or whatever. So people don't want, you know, I think people are just sensitive to that. So, um, yeah, I've appreciated people's uh, positive acknowledgement. I'm going to be seeing my mom this month for Mother's Day weekend, and I haven't seen her since Christmas. Um, and she's the type who's going to make it, who, who would make a big deal. So we'll see what she thinks of my loss. I mean, so she hasn't seen me in like 65 pounds. So, wow, yeah, that'll be cool. I'll, I mean, hopefully, I mean, you know, she'll say nothing and I'm going to be depressed. But uh, yeah, I think that's kind of my week. Um, I've been working out last week was not the best week in terms of working out. I mentioned in my last video that on Tuesday didn't go work out because I just slept right through my alarm. And then I worked out Thursday and then Sunday I was going to work out in the morning and I was just, I was exhausted. My alarm went off at eight and I was like, there, I don't even feel like I can get out of bed, let alone go to the gym and like do a weight session. I felt like if I went, it would be a shitty workout and I probably should have gone anyways, but I didn't. And I'm fine with it. I mean, I had been cleaning my apartment the previous day. I was tired. It is what it is, but uh, I worked out this morning and I plan to continue to work out consistently and I, you know, I'm not, I'm not too upset about it. It was coming off of a vacation and I don't feel like I'm totally derailed. Like I stopped my routine and now I can't get back into it. I think, I think I'm going to get back into it. So I think that is all the updates. Uh, I'll be making a video to... Uh, <laughs> I'll be making a video tomorrow with my um, month four updates, progress, photos, measurements, etc. So keep an eye out for that. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, your support means so much to me. Comments and subscribing and liking the video. Uh, I, I didn't. I started making this these you know these videos and I wasn't quite sure what would come out of them. And. Uh, I thought it would be kind of weird talking to this camera and, you know, like getting such a delayed response and, and it's just, it's been a very rewarding experience and, um, I feel really positive about it and 
Uh, I just so appreciate everyone who interacts with me and I so appreciate all of you who um, make videos. I try to keep up as much as I can. I think I do okay. And uh, it's just so inspiring and exciting and motivational to see all of you guys go through similar things um, ahead of me, behind me, at the same time as me. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's great. So, uh, you can follow me on Instagram if you aren't already, uh, and that's also linked below. And um, otherwise, have a marvelous day, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.